Are you getting bored with your tofu? Well, let me let you in on a little secret. So am I. That's why today I'm gonna share with you a tofu salad recipe that'll have you falling back in love with tofu all over again. It has a killer marinade that really enhances the flavor of the tofu and an awesome dressing that combines the tofu and the veggies all together very, very nicely. And we're gonna whip all that up right here on Beyond the Garden. I'm EJ and welcome to Beyond the Garden, the vegetarian cooking experience that explores healthy but tasty vegetarian and vegan cuisines. And today we are making another salad. Um, we're going to make a tofu salad. It's not what you think. It has your veggies. It's got flavorful tofu that's going to have you enjoying it and hopefully get you eating more salads so that you can get the, veggie, the veggies and the proteins that you need. So we're going to get started. All you need are a handful of um, ingredients, really simple to make. And if you can make this the night before, then it's going to taste even better. So First, I'm gonna make a marinade because that's all. That's what it's all about with the tofu. As you know, tofu by itself doesn't have much of a flavor. It's what you do with it. It's like a blank canvas. So we're going to have to put some flavor on this bland tofu. So first, I got a little bit of water that we're gonna put in there. And then I've got some agave. You can use honey, but watch out, some vegans may not consume honey because it comes from an insect. Or if you don't have either, you can use um, sugar. Now I've got some burgundy wine, burgundy cooking wine, that is. And if you don't have burgundy, you can use sherry if you want to. And this is just a little bit of tamarai. Put that in there. And if you notice, some of these flavors, is just it's an Asian theme that you're going to see here. So it's really an Asian tofu-inspired um, salad. Go ahead and put this in. This is some rice vinegar. If you don't have rice vinegar and access to it, you can use white vinegar. That's fine. But I like the subtlety of the rice vinegar. It's got a mild taste to it. Next, we're going to put in some garlic some minced or chopped garlic. And then here I've got a combination of some vegetable oil and some sesame oil. So once again, more Asian influences on this um, salad. That's you're gonna get a lot of flavor. You're really gonna be able to smell that sesame um, seed oil. So whisk this up. I'm gonna add a little salt, just a little bit, because we've got that um, the tamarind or the soy sauce in there, a little bit of pepper. Go ahead and whisk it up. It's great flavor in here, really good flavor. Now, I've got some tofu, one block of tofu that I went ahead and um, just diced up into cubes. And of course, you wanna drain it one way to drain it is to put it on a plate and then put another plate on top of it so it's like a sandwich and then put at least a five to 10 pound weight on it so it can squish all that liquid out because you don't want liquid to be consuming the tofu because it's got to make room for all this flavor. So go ahead and pour that over the tofu so it can marinate. You want to get a shallow pan like this so you can make sure all of your tofu is being immersed with this flavor, we're gonna save that bowl. So, all the ingredients for the marinade, not difficult, most of the stuff you probably already got hanging out in your cabinet anyway. So, that's the easy part of it. So, what you wanna do is you wanna let this marinade for at least three to four hours. Of course, if you can let your tofu marinate overnight, then it'll be even better. So, I'm gonna set this back here because actually I've got some tofu that I let marinate earlier today. So it's really been hanging out in the refrigerator for about five to six hours. So this is what I wanna use because all my flavor, and you can tell that it's been marinating because now the tofu is like a light brown or tan color. None of that fake tan. So now let me grab my salad bowl. 
right here because we're going to put our veggies in this bowl right here but first we need to make our dressing now the dressing that we make is not going to be a lot because it's been marinating the tofu has been marinating um, in a different sauce of its own so for we're going to just use the same bowl because it's got some of the same flavors in it and what I want to do is I've got some fresh lemon juice you can use lime juice as well one whole lemon or lime again you saw this before it's just some tamara or some soy sauce got some sesame seed oil here and what's great is if you wanted to you could actually toast the sesame seed oil to really bring out the flavor of it I've got some more agave or sugar if you don't have access to that a little bit of salt and pepper so as you see this dressing is not very different from the marinade itself it's just got some lemon juice in it to give it that flavor Go ahead and whisk this up. Set this off to the side. Now my salad bowl, I've got some cabbage. So you can get, um, of course you know you can pick this up from anywhere. It's usually near the bagged um, lettuce. You're gonna do about a cup of that. And I got some carrots, and what you could do is, I just got the regular shredded cabbage. Um, of course, you know, they've got like the coleslaw mix, where it already has the carrots in it. You can do that too, save yourself some time. I've got some peas that were frozen, just some frozen peas. Add as little or as much as that as you like. And then I've got some green onions, so about three green onions. Go ahead and uh, sprinkle that in there gonna go very very nicely with that sesame seed oil so I'm toss this around mix that up and this is great because you got all your fiber you're getting your vitamin A vitamin C getting your nutrients that you need and then the tofu is gonna work very nicely with this because then that's your protein so once again you've got a great nice lunch or dinner salad that you can enjoy and this salad serves for people, so this is great for your family. As you notice, all these ingredients were pretty, pretty cheap. And once again, this is another dish that you can make at home for about 10 bucks. You've got 10 bucks, and you can feed four people. And if it's just you, then you'll be having leftovers for a couple of days, which is even better. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this dressing over the cabbage, the cabbage mixture. Stir that around, let that get a little, little bit of wet, a little bit. Then we're gonna add the tofu on there. And see, you don't need, a little bit of dressing goes a long way. It took me a long time to learn that because I would always drench my salads and all the bad dressings. Um, but I've gotten a lot better with that. It smells really, really good. The sesame seed oil, you can really smell it. So let me see if I've got. Actually, we got one of these. So now I am going to put my tofu on top and then toss that around. And what's great about this is that you could actually place this marinade in like a Ziploc bag with the tofu. Let it hang out for a couple of days. You can use it in a stir fry if you didn't want to use it in a salad. But this is a great marinade that you should probably make a staple and get to learn how to make because it's very simple to make and very flavorful. Let's see. Scoop all that in there. So we've got all of our tofu in there. Pour a little bit in here. And then we're just gonna toss this around. Mix everything up. all your proteins. This really is a complete meal. Like I said, it, it didn't take long at all to throw this all together. If you're having a late night, a long day, you still wanna make sure you eat something healthy. And this is a healthy dish. Really, really healthy, affordable, no exotic ingredients. Very, very simple to make at home. 
So now I'm going to grab me a plate. Plate me up some. So I think I deserve it. Now I'm going to taste this. Well, like I said, before you eat it so that everything has a chance to mix, mesh together. Let this sit in the refrigerator together for about an hour. That's it. Just another hour and then enjoy it. You won't do it justice if you just put it all together and then serve it. So allow some time for all this stuff to, to marinate together and work well together. And you can be creative with the vegetables that you put in it. You don't have to put the same things. I would definitely say put cabbage. Try to stay away from lettuce. Use the cabbage for the fiber and the, the great texture and taste. That's what I would do. <laughs> so as you can see here, this meal took under $10 to make. I made it in a couple minutes. You got a little bit of prep work a couple hours before, but it is worth it because you get tons of flavor for it. Now I'm going to give it a little taste, but you have to make it at home to be your own judge. This is really good. You can taste the sesame seed oil. You can taste the rice vinegar in there. This is really, really good. You've got a low fat dressing. You didn't have to use a lot of salt because of all the flavors. I'm telling you, you all have got to love that. You've got to try it, especially if you didn't know what else to do with, the, with your tofu. Now you can revitalize tofu with this marinade and with this salad recipe. This is great stuff. For this recipe and a lot of other vegetarian and vegan recipes, go to vegetarianlikeme.com, subscribe, you'll receive five um, vegetarian video recipes delivered directly to you. And you can cook them all at home. Very, very simple to make and very, very delicious. So the next time you're caught up in a vegetarian and vegan dilemma, go beyond the garden. It's tastier on the other side. Until next time, take care.